A couple of things to consider when you're installing your Storm Drain Pro is firstly, you're picking up big volumes of water. So you wanna be able to move it away fast and not create a bottleneck. At the bottom here, you've got these guides where you can drill them out and attach your stormwater. So the smallest one internally is your 90 mil. It's kind of entry level stormwater. Then you've got 100 and 150 mil. So if you've got a fair few of these connected together, a bigger pipe will guarantee that the water gets moved away. And then you can get a leaf guard. It just sits comfortably inside the 90 mil or if I go to the larger one, it sits a little bit lower. And if I go to the 150, it sits at its lowest point. Now connecting the channels is pretty simple. I come in on an angle, line one side up, and then simply just wiggle it around until it's in place. I've created a T now. I can put my end on, which is even easier to put in. Now what I would do is remove this grate. Now it's got these anti-tapering bolts in it take them out. They are a great idea because it guarantees two things. The first one, safety, that the grate can't move on you and someone might fall on it. And secondly, no one can pinch it in the dark because it's in place with an unusual fitting. I'd take that out and I would silicon all the edges and you know what? That's job done. You'd look forward to the next downpour to make sure it all works perfectly.